course, he won't play a ball for the old camera. Now, how's it going, everyone? It's uh, just in the middle of Christmas there on the way to New Year's, but you'd hardly guess it. About 13 or 14 degrees here in Kerry. The sunny southwest. So I've come up to the pier and feed it again just for a bit of fishing, clear the head, clear a few cobwebs off before uh, things get serious in the next few days for us. But, uh, that, uh, oh, <laughs> that off with a nice little whiting. Uh, David's been here for a while. He's been getting whiting dabs and rockling. Although when I arrived, he didn't seem to catch anything. But, uh, like I said, lovely little whiting. Get the show going. Um, what I was using was very simply, there you go. See it there? A bit of fresh lug tipped with frozen mackerel and a little floaty bead. Now there's a bit of crab action going on as well, so uh, that's going to affect the catches. But hopefully, there's a nice colour in the water, might pick up something decent today. Just half of that. <laughs> Certainly it'll do. One second. Right, go. Yeah. Certainly it'll do. They're only small whiting, but it's a bit of fun during Christmas. Using up bait that's just in the freezer. And, uh, Keep the rod tip going. It's better than better than just being at home thinking about fishing or on Facebook. So keep us going for a while anyway. There's few places that you get a bit of a better sight. A bit of view than you would here on Kerry. I've gone old school today with the uh, Gray's PZ match rod and uh, teamed up with the Shimano. I've got a tapered line on so you can see how far we're fishing. Very high tech uh, rod rest here as well. Uh, I did get one of the rod fenders to try out, which I usually use on the pier, but uh, like a genius, left it at home during the excitement of Christmas. So, let's go through. We have a few maddies left over. So, fish with those. Uh, some frozen black log, a few small sand deals, and some frozen mackerel. So, I'm not gonna give it too long, maybe an hour or two. Hopefully pick up a few fish. Now guys, we're gonna start to lose the light here shortly enough, so. Uh, you can usually do very well on Fina Pier if you have your baits glowing. So, I picked up some of these guys, sea glow uh, beads. These are the oval ones that uh, that I wanted. Um, you'll see them here now on the trace. And these glow like something you've never seen before. And the trick is though, they really last as well. Whereas sometimes you get them and they they glow for a little bit and they're beautiful, but then they're gone nearly straight away. But these guys seem to glow for an awful lot longer than the average uh, the average one. So there's different types of them as well. They've got the kind of a uh, more tubular kind of ones as well that you can use on the hook as bait and all the and everywhere in between. But it's worth checking out. And uh, it's really worth having a look at them. They, they do very well here after dark. So I'm hoping that, like I've done very well here previously in competitions with the Luminous. So these guys are going to give them a shot of the light and see how it goes. Oh, the light just keeps improving. I got a, another double shot of whiting there. This time, 29 centimeters and a, a small one. And very interestingly though, the big guy's been eating Either squid 
or a little fish. I'll investigate more and uh, let you know more about that in a minute. Right, so we're fishing away and we're getting a couple of whiting. Uh, David's got a few dabs as well to go into the mix. So I'm just going to show you how I bait up here on the pier. Now, keeping in mind these are for small fish because we don't get any really big cod here. Uh, there might be one every every year that's worthy of talking about. Whereas you get them constantly in the UK, especially around the north and the northwest, northeast. So we're using small hooks. These are only a size uh, size eight. They're a Camazine um, specimen white hooks. Very strong little hooks as well. So if you do pick up a bit of a better fish, you've got a great chance of getting them. So I'm just going to show you now how I bait up. So I'm going to use uh, blacks tipped with a bit of mackerel. So with the small fine baits. I like to use this baiting tool, it's a Yuki one or a Yuki depending on who you talk to so use the bait binder like so and you see you end up with a really nice neat bait and all you do when you're finished just push it off now I like to tip off with a piece of mackerel some guys like to bind this on as well. I don't really like to. I like to leave it kind of sitting naturally so it moves around in the tide a bit. So one last little bit of a trick. See our bait there now as it's sitting down. We've got these little Gemini beads. So we'll just give it a bit of a, a go from the UV lamp. And you can see it's kind of changed color. But once I take this out of the light, obviously it's going to glow up another little bit, and so hopefully we get a couple of fish. Right. Now, uh, as promised, here's the the sea glow beads. Uh, you don't even need a light source with them. They're fairly impressive. That's just them in the packet. Only put the torch on them for a couple of seconds, and uh, no light source externally on them now at the moment. And you can see. They're absolute quality. Highly recommend giving them a go. Of course, he won't play a ball for the old camera. 21 centimeters. Like, these obviously don't look too impressive for anybody, but if you're fishing competitions, 15 centimeters is the size limit for the, the Irish competitions and a lot of the internationals as well. So, 21 is a nice scoring fish. Continuing to get five points per fish as well. So that'll be a 26 pointer, is what he'd be worth in a competition. And they do all add up.